Hi, my name is Jason Renault, and this is going to be a simple exercise in building a retro rocket using Maya 2017. The first thing I have done is I went online and found a bunch of ref uh, references, uh, which I'm going to loosely base this design upon. And I'm going to start this actually with a sphere. So I'm going to start by scaling it up. I access my scale tools with the keyboard shortcuts. So the keyboard shortcuts are W for move, E for rotate, and R for scale. You can also access them on the left side here. So I'm going to scale this up and bring it up a bit. Excellent. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a more of a egg shape for this rocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and select edge. I'm going to double click the edge here and by double clicking I'm going to be selecting the entire edge loop. Next thing I'm going to do is press B on the keyboard. By pressing B you activate the soft select. If you hold down B and left mouse click then you can adjust the size of your soft selection. So I'm going to leave it at about this for now and drop it down. I'll also do the same thing for the top part here, but now I'm going to go to vertex mode by right clicking and going to vertex. I'm going to select the very top and I'm just going to drag up. This is going to give me a more of a egg shape, but a lot more stretched. I'm also going to do this again by selecting the edges, this one, this one, and that one, because I feel like it should be a little fatter here. Uh, maybe not that one. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this one here and bring it back up a bit. And now I notice that the soft brush isn't large enough for what I'm looking for here. All right. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my scale tool while I have my soft selection on, and I'm going to scale it down a bit. All right, excellent. Actually, I realized that here there's a little bump that I don't like that's not making it as soft. So I'm going to deactivate my soft selection by pressing B, and I'm just going to scale it in just a little bit. And that didn't do very much. There you go. Now, when you have your scale tool, if you use the middle one, it's going to scale in three dimensions. If you use the little square here, this is going to scale along the z-axis and the x-axis. And this is what I'm looking for in this one. Excellent. Next step I'm going to do is a window for it. So I'm going to begin this window by selecting this tool here, uh, this polygon here, which is the polygon pipe. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit. I'm going to move it out of the way. And I want a thinner edge on the window here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to face mode, click the first one, and double click, uh, sorry, and shift, double click the one next to it. This is going to select the entire edge loop. I'm going to use my scale tool. And again, I'm going to use this square here instead of the middle one. And I'm going to scale it out. There you go. Now I'm going to move this cylinder, this cylinder pipe, and snap it by holding down X on the keyboard and la left mouse clicking to drag it and snap it to the grid here. And I'm just going to snap it to there. And the reason for that is I'm going to place a bunch of bolts that go all the way around and I want to make sure that the pivot point is right in the center. So I'm going to create the first bolt here by clicking the cylinder and by pressing Control A, I will have access to the channel box slash layer editor. If I press the poly cylinder one, then I'll have access to the subdivision axis. So I'm going to click once on it, and inside my view, I'm going to middle mouse drag to the left until I drop it to approximately five axis. And this is going to do, it's going to do for my bolt. So I'm going to bring it in here, a you know, bit. And using my R key, I went to the scale, and I'm going to scale it down a bit. Excellent. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the pivot point so I can actually 
dupl uh, duplicate special uh, rotation on the window here. So to do this, I'm going to hold down, I'm going to press D, which changes the manipulator here. And then by holding down X and making sure to click in the middle, I'm going to drag until I bring it to the center of this ring. I'm going to let go of X and press D again. There you go. Now, if I click Shift D, it's going to do a duplicate special. I'm going to bring it over a bit and then click Shift D again until I have the entire ring done. And there you go. And the last part for this window is I'm going to add the glass part. So I'm going to do this by clicking the sphere and then I'm going to bring it in. Again, I'm going to hold down X, which is going to make it snap to the center of the grid. And by pressing R, I can scale the thickness of it. Now, I think the glass is coming out a little bit too much, so I'm going to drag, I'm going to scale it down a bit. The other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete the bottom faces since I'm not going to need them. So the way to do this, the easiest way to do this, is I'm going to isolate select here, my selected tool. So what you can do is if you select your sphere and click this, it'll hide everything else. The way to make everything come back is just to press it again. Now I'm going to go to face mode. I'm going to select this face. Again, shift, double click the one next to it, which will select the entire ring and press delete. I'm going to double click the bottom faces, click delete, and I'm going to go back to object mode. Right click, object mode. I'm going to click the isolate select to see everything back again. All right, I think this is going to be good enough for my window right now. So I'm going to select everything here and combine everything by clicking this icon up here. Excellent. Now I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to bring it right in here and I'm going to scale everything down here until it looks appropriate for the size of the rocket here. Okay, that's looking fine. Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to object mode here, isolate select the window, and I'm going to select all of the faces on the inside by, sh again, shift, double clicking the one next to it. And I'm just going to move it in a bit and down just so the lines are nice and straight. And there you go. Now, if I wanted to, I could press Control D, which will duplicate it. I will erase all the information up here by pressing Modify, Freeze Transform. The transformations are being recorded. So as soon as you move it, it's being recorded in Translate X, Y, and Z, right? So if you want to, you can tell the system to erase all of that information. And so this is its new position default position. If we look at this one, see we have the rotation, we have the scale, and we also have the translate information that is uh, being remembered. So the way to get rid of it is by going to modify, freeze transformation. And the reason why I'm going to do this is now I can actually create or adjust the scale here. And I'm going to look at it here. So it's on the x axis. I'm going to, go to scale minus one. And this is going to reverse my window here by changing the scale to minus one. Again, I'm gonna go back to, back to modify and freeze transform. And I'm gonna put it on the other side. Excellent. Next step is I'm going to make the little wings for the bottom here. So I'm gonna start with a cube. And using my scale tool, I'm going to scale it up, scale it back and scale it, scale it a little flatter here. If I go to my tool here, my multi-cut tool, I'm going to click it. And if you hold down control and hover over an edge, it will add an edge loop. So again, I'm holding down control and this is going to add the edge loop. So I'm going to add approximately, I don't know, four more edges in here. There we go. Actually, before doing this, I'm going to undo what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the vertices at the end and I'm going to scale it down this way. 
knowing that I want to make a wing that is going to be triangular but rotated. So again, using my multi-cut tool, I'm going to add by holding down control, and I'm going to add the extra edges in here. There we go. So, um, if I wanted to add a hole in the wing here, what I would start by doing is I would select the top faces, and then by holding down shift and marquee selection everything, it's going to select everything else, and I'm going to press delete. This way I'm going to start with a 2D shape here. I'm going to select this face, this face, and this face, and I'm going to extrude them by pressing the extrude icon up here. Now from here, I'm going to click once on the scale cube here, which is going to make the center one appear, and I'm going to scale this one down. And now I'm going to press delete, which is going to make the three holes for me. If I wanted to make it circular, I could have added an extra edge and manually adjust each one of them. There are other tricks, but I've also made another video to explain this. Okay, so back to the object. I'm going to go back to right-click face mode, select everything here, and extrude it again. This time I'm going to extrude it upwards, because if I go downwards, all of the faces are going to be reversed. So I'm going to extrude it upwards and keep it a little thin here. Excellent. And finally, I'm going to select the vertex mode, again by right-clicking, going to vertex, and I'm going to create a rotation here. So the way I did this, again, is if you select everything, then you can hold down control and unselect the ones you don't need. You can always navigate around to make sure that you don't have any of the vertices that you don't want selected, and this is going to allow you to create this shape. And there we go. I'm going to use this and rotate it 90 degrees in the X rotation here. So you can also go in here and type in 90, which is going to make sure that it's perfectly angled. I'm going to bring it up so that it looks like it's touching the ground here and it's inside the rocket. Finally, I'm going to press the space bar to go to my four views. I'm going to go to the top view. I'm going to press my modify center pivot. So earlier I showed you how to move the pivot point by holding down D, but if you wish to center the pivot, there's an option in your modify menu, which is right here, center pivot. And if I hold down X and use the arrow, I'll be able to bring it up to the line here, by, uh, but just along the z-axis, as you can see down there. If I use the center one, then it would have snapped to the center of this grid. So from the top view, again, I'm just going to isolate select my wing here, and pressing D, I'm going to bring it to the center of the grid by holding down X and dragging to the center. I'm going to press D again to get out. And I'm going to shift D and rotate it. Again, exactly like how we did it earlier. I'm going to press here at minus 90. And press shift D again. And shift D. I'm just going to adjust them manually here. So minus 180 and this one at 90 degrees. Excellent. By pressing this icon up here again, everything is going to reappear. And we have a very basic rocket. Next thing I'm going to add is a little crevice where the different paint are going to meet. So I'm going to select, go to right click, edge, double click the edge here, and then bevel this edge by clicking this icon. I'm going to add one segment, so a total of two, and I'm going to lower the fraction Again, by left mouse clicking on the name, I can just drag it and select it here. If you want to, you can go into this box and type in 0.1 if you're following along with this tutorial. I'm going to double click the, the edge here, press R to scale, and I'm going to scale it in 
just a little bit. And I'm going to select the top and bottom one and scale them in just a little bit. And finally, I'm going to make sure that the top and bottom one are soft edges. To do so, I'm going to keep them selected and go to Mesh Display, Soften Edge. And for the center one, I'm going to double click, Mesh Display, Harden Edge. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for up here. So bevel, add a segment, lower the fraction 2.1. Double click the middle edge, scale it in, use the top and bottom ones, scale those in, make sure that those ones are softened edge, and the middle one, hardened edge. Now if we go back to object mode and click outside, we'll be able to see what we've done here. Okay, I'm going to adjust the tip of the rocket here, just to make it a little point here. So I'm using my scale tool and my move tool, my transform tool. That's looking a little bit better. <laughs> I'll admit it's not the most beautiful rocket I've ever done here. <laughs> but again, it's to teach you those simple techniques. And I think the last thing I'm going to do on this rocket here is I'm going to go down and give it a little fuselage. So again, I'm going to go to right click vertex, select the bottom one, and with soft selection on, I'm just going to bring it up and scale it down. So I have a flat bottom there. Right click back to object mode, and I'm going to create a cylinder. So if I go into my cylinder options, if you don't see this again, you can just press control A or you can access it by clicking this icon up here. So if you press on poly cylinder, you'll have all of its options in here. So in subdivision caps, I'm going to hold it and add one or two actually. So for a total of three, and I'm also going to hide, hide my grid here by pressing this icon. So I have three caps. So I'm going to go to edge mode, right click, edge mode. I'm going to press B since I'm still in soft selection. And I'm going to scale it out a bit. I'm going to select the middle edge loop. I'm also going to scale it out. And I'm going to select at least one of the inner edges. Because if I didn't and I tried to move it up, the center vertex is untouched and it will stay there. So if I select at least one and I bring it up, everything is going to come up with it. So I'm going to bring it up close to the top of the rocket here. I'm going to reselect the center here, mesh display harden edge. Same thing with this one, mesh display harden edge. And I'm going to go back to object mode, right click, object mode, click on it, and I'm going to isolate select this, the view here. I'm going to right click vertex, select all of the top vertex, and I'm going to scale it in. I'm going to isolate select everything so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to enlarge the size of this fuselage. And finally, I'm going to go back to object mode and just scale it out until I reach something that's pretty crazy, like this here. Now if I turn on my grid again, we can see my carrot-shaped rocket, and I think that would be pretty much it for this rocket. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, um, and good luck.